Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! Hey everybody, this is Andrew and welcome to episode 50 of the Jag War Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a pregame analysis of the matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons. So let's jump into it. You know, to start off with, again, this game uh, doesn't really matter too much in the scheme of things for Jacksonville. Um, You know, uh, we are out of the playoffs. um, So, you know, I think we want to kind of think about next season. But one thing that will, you know... Uh, we have to think about again too is uh, I love to see the Jacksonville Jaguars win um, but I mean I think we really need to think about next season uh, in our draft uh, you know our draft picks our draft status Uh, so if Jacksonville loses this game I'm not going to be too upset Um, you know but I think it will be an interesting game it's you know it's going to be played uh, in Atlanta Um. So, I mean, it'll be two essentially teams that are five and nine. Um, so it may be an interesting matchup. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, what I'm really looking for in this game is uh, for Gardner Minshew to, you know, develop his talents as a quarterback, uh, for him to work on those deep balls, um, his accuracy uh, in the passing attack. Um, I'd like to see, you know, a little bit more from Leonard Fournette uh, on the ground, um, get him more carries, but, you know, also kind of conserve him, uh, work rock Armstead kind of into the mix as that, uh, that third down back or that second string running back. Um, I'm really kind of interested to see more, uh, uh, about, um, you know, wide receiver Keelan Cole. Uh, you know, he's been, uh, really, uh, making a lot of headway, uh, this season has shown progression, um, you know, I'm kind of still, I always, I, I feel like the jury's kind of out on him, um, because, you know, he, he has been a little inconsistent in the past and hurt us. Uh, you know, there's been some, uh, some fumbles and drop passes, Idiot. but, um, you know, who knows, maybe he'll develop into that next, uh, you know, powerhouse player for the Jaguars. Um, you know, from a defensive perspective, I'd like to see uh, us hopefully stop the run uh, better in this game. Um, you know, I'd like to see the defensive line play better. Um, but again, if we lose this game, I'm not going to be super disappointed. Um, I think this could be a close one, honestly. I think this could be probably a three-point game, honestly, or a one-touchdown game. Um, I think, you know, Atlanta will probably uh, kind of sneak away with a win in this game um, because I think, you know, uh, they're kind of on a hot streak. Um, I feel like Matt Ryan, uh, he's a good quarterback, and if we give him time, he will hit targets like uh, Julio Jones. Um, you know, I feel like in the last game, uh, Falcons were able to run the ball effectively, and um, we just haven't been able to stop the run as a defense. Uh, so, you know, I think that's going to be a big factor. Um, you know, if, if, if Atlanta gets out in front of us early in this game, uh, we found it, you know, as a team for Jacksonville, hard to kind of recover from, uh, you know, being down, uh, you know, a couple scores, a couple touchdowns, but then again, you know, last, last week we, we were down a couple scores against Oakland, and we came back and won that game. Um, Gardner Minshew played a very, very, very good game. Um, did show some uh, poise in the pocket. Looked a lot better. Um, I feel like the offensive line played a lot better last week, um, you know, than they have in the past. Um, Gardner Minshew del- delivered a nice bomb to uh, Keelan Cole. A nice, really, really nice pass. Um, on the money, 55 yard pass to Keelan Cole. Um, so he's definitely improving his, uh, his accuracy and his deep, uh, deep ball. Um, 
you know, throwing. So, uh, that's, that's been a great, uh, uh, great improvement and very positive as well. So, um, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we just see some more improvements, uh, you know, from, from Gardner Minshew, from, uh, you know, Rock Armstead, our, uh, second string running back and then our offensive line, you know, I'd like to see, uh, more push, from our offensive line, improve, uh, the running, blo uh, run blocking and, uh, open up some holes for Leonard Fournette, uh, and get that running game going. I think that'll be essential, uh, for winning this game. Um, from a defensive perspective, it's always going to be getting, you know, uh, pressure on Matt Ryan. I don't think he's a very mobile quarterback. Uh, I think, you know, when you get in his face, uh, kind of like quarterbacks, you know, Goff. Jared Goff, um, you know, uh, like quarterbacks like Joe Flacco, they can't move around. I feel like Matt Ryan's not very mobile. So, you know, when you get in his face uh, and you sack him, he's not very effective. And, uh, you know, I think that's the bottom line. Um, you know, uh, this game will be played in Atlanta. So uh, it'll be, I think it'll be a tough game for Jacksonville, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, they surprised me last week, Jacksonville, uh, against Oakland, uh, with that upset. Um, I'm not going to be disappointed. Like I said, if, if Jacksonville loses this game, because, you know, we need to be thinking about the draft and next season, but, uh, let me know how you feel about this, uh, upcoming game. Uh, leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, leave me some feedback on Apple Podcasts. That always helps me when I uh, create these uh, YouTube videos or podcast episodes. And, uh, you know, stay strong. Uh, Duval for life. Go Jags. And I'll see you next time. Known to keep their hearts racing, eating other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive scheme. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.